Hello everyone, welcome back. This is a live recording of a 50 minute full body flow. So find a little bit of space to move and let's get started. All right, you guys, let's get started. Um, I hope that you had a nice weekend. Happy Monday. Thank you for joining me and Gus is leaving me, I guess. <laughs> Just going to be me today. We'll see how it goes. But let's start sitting down for sure. I'm not going to use any props myself, but feel free to have what you like close by. You can close your eyes when you're ready to do so. And taking a slow, deep breath in and out Let's do that again a nice deep breath in a deep breath out Let's do that one more time fill up with air and then let it all go you see guys we can start to let the chin fall down towards the collarbone if you'd like, bringing some length into the back of the neck. Maybe taking just a moment to bring a touch more length into your spine. And give your shoulders a chance to fall away from your ears. Maybe letting your head get a little bit heavier. And then using an inhale, let's roll our head slowly over towards the right shoulder. Keep going till you find a nice stretch the side of your neck. Maybe lengthening your spine again too. Pause here for a moment. Relax through your jaw. Stay for just an inhale and then with your exhale, slowly roll your head back down, bringing your chin towards your collarbone again. Take your time. Nice slow movement. Pause here. And then with an inhale, you can start to roll your head over to the other side. And keep going till you find that nice stretch through the neck. Maybe sitting a little bit taller along the way too. And then let your head just get a touch heavier as it's tipping over to the side. Stay here for another inhale. And as you exhale, slowly let the chin roll back down towards your collarbone. Take a breath there. And then take an inhale and start to lift your chin back up. Just to a nice neutral place. And if your eyes are open, let them close again. Take a moment just to pause. Maybe be still. Just notice your breath. Notice your belly moving a little bit. And taking just another breath or two here. And then you can start to open up your eyes. So it's just going to take our hands. Bring your palms to face forward. Spread your fingers out wide. And maybe you'll touch your fingertips to the ground in front of you. Trying to stretch through your fingers. A little easier to get your hands to the ground. 
or your fingertips to the ground. Maybe if you come onto your knees, but not here too long. Just send your thumbs out to the side, spread your fingers wide. You don't even have to bring your hands all the way down to the ground. You can just actively spread your fingers out wide, trying to stretch the palms, stretch the fingers. You might add a little pulse if you do have your fingertips touching the ground in front of you. Send your thumbs out to the sides. The thumbs are probably lifted. And then you can start to let that go. Maybe give your hands a little bit of a shake if you really felt that. And then we can move into tabletop onto our hands and knees. And once you get there, spread your fingers out wide. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Maybe give your hips a gentle sway side to side. So with our fingers staying connected to the ground, we're just gonna try to lift our palms up. Keep your fingers, the thumbs can lift and they can also kind of point out to the side a little. Kind of lift the palms and keep the fingers down and then you can gently bring the palms back, push them into the ground a little and then lift them again. Just trying to keep the fingers pressing down. So some effort here. To push into the fingers as you lift your palms. And this is supposed to be a little bit of work for the wrists, for the forearms. Bring the palms down, a little push into the ground, lift them back up. Keep the fingers connected as best you can. And then next time your palms do touch down, you might relax your fingers, maybe even give them a little bit of a shake. But then let's tuck our toes and lift our knees into downward facing dog. I want you to push into your palms a little bit more. Maybe take a couple walks with the hands down dog, but maybe lift one hand. And then the other, just to feel that nice push into the palms. And then once you feel like you can be on both hands and still push into both of your palms, do that. <laughs> Send your hips up nice and high. Maybe start to look towards your feet. If you aren't already and if you want to pedal the feet out, lift and lower the heels a few times, you can add that in. But maybe push into your palms again. Find some nice strong arms, strong hands. And then as you inhale, start to look forwards. And exhale, let's walk all the way up to the top of our mat. You can take as many steps as you would like. But once you get to the top, inhale for a half lift. Lift your chest, lengthen your spine, lift your hands off the ground, and then exhale, fold, bending your knees, inhale, let's come all the way up to standing. You might reach your arms up, maybe look up, and then exhale, let your arms fall down to your sides, bringing your hands up kind of in front of your chest, make some fists. We're just going to take a couple wrist circles in one direction. And then you can switch directions. Keep your fists, make your circles, and then let that go. Maybe a little shake of the hands. You can bring your arms to your sides. Roll your shoulders back and down as you inhale, reach up. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale into a half lift. As you exhale, let's Fold, plant your hands, step your feet all the way back into downward facing dog. Maybe taking those little walks with the hands, just trying to keep the fingers spread wide and pushing into the palms. You don't have to add that movement in, but you can. And then maybe bring both hands down, push into them equally. Let your gaze start to go back towards your feet. Send your hips nice and high, lengthening through the arms, maybe bending your knees more, maybe lifting your heels to push a little bit more into the hands. And then use an inhale to look forwards again. As you exhale, walk back up to the top of your mat. Once you get there, inhale into a half lift. 
Nice, long spine. Exhale to fold forwards. Inhale to come all the way up to standing, reaching up. Exhale, let your arms fall to your sides. Shoulder roll if you want one. Inhale to reach up. Exhale as you fold back down. Inhale, let's lift halfway. Exhale as you fold. Plant your hands. Let's take our left foot back into a lunge. You could take one big step or a bunch of little ones, but maybe the knee's going to come down. Maybe the knee's going to stay lifted. Take a second, though, to set up your lunge. If your knee is down, you could rest on the top of the foot if that's a little more comfortable. Sink into your hips. If you want to keep your hands down, you can. Or you could start to lift your chest. Maybe your hands rest on top of your knee. Maybe your hands come kind of close to the chest, into fists, and you add in a couple wrist circles. A few in one direction, and then a few in the other direction. And then just let that go. Maybe a little shake for the hands. If you're lifted up, lean back down so that your hands are down. Maybe you will lift your back knee up if it's lowered. Maybe not, though. From your lunge, take an inhale to gaze forwards. As you exhale, step or walk your back foot to the top of your mat. Inhale for a half lift and exhale fold bring your hands down step your right foot back set up your lunge if you really want to work you can keep your back knee lifted or you can bring it down maybe rest on the top of the back foot too sink into the hips a little make sure you're balanced if you want to keep your hands down keep your hands down and if you want to lift up you can lift up wrist circles are just optional you can keep your hands on your knee maybe or add your fists. Keep your fists nice and tight. And as you add those wrist circles, we are strengthening our wrists. A few in one direction and then switching directions. Keep your fists as best you can. And then let that go. Maybe a little shake of the hands. Bring your hands back down if they're up. You might tuck the toes and lift your back knee in your lunge. Take an inhale to look forwards, though. And exhale, step or walk your back foot to the top. Inhale into a half lift. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Reach up. Exhale, let your arms fall to your sides. Take a shoulder roll if you want one. Big inhale as you reach up. Exhale to fold forwards. Inhale into a half lift. As you exhale, we're going to fold. Plant our hands. Our left foot's going to come back. Let's keep our knee lifted this time. But drop your back heel. We're going to lift all the way up to standing. So into warrior one legs. Adjust your feet if needed. So that you're facing forwards. Both of your feet are touching down. So your back foot's probably out on an angle a little. A nice little bend in the front knee. Your hands could find your hips. You could also maybe bring your hands together in front of your heart. Just strong through the legs a moment here. So if you're still scooching the feet around to find a nice balanced place, do that. So you can keep your arms where they are, or maybe you're going to interlace your fingers and kind of push the palms in front away from you. Maybe trying to take the bend of the elbows a little bit more. Maybe the palms are shining forwards. Maybe you're going to start to sweep your arms up. Maybe the palms are facing up now. Maybe your hands are still on your hips or in front of your heart. Wherever your hands may be, maybe you can gaze towards them. If your hands are on your hips, maybe just gaze down. And then releasing your arms back to your sides. 
And we can start to tip forwards too, so that we end up in our lunge. Spin the back heel up so you're on the ball of your back foot and then step up to the top of your mat or walk up to the top of your mat. Inhale for a half lift. Exhale, fold. We're going to plant our hands. Our right foot's coming back. We're just switching sides. Lower your heel and then start to lift. Adjust your feet as much as you need to. Both feet are planted but we're shining our chest forwards, we're facing forwards. Looking forwards, belly button, chest, everything. Decide where your feet need to be. A little bend through the front leg. What are your hands gonna do? A few moments here. Let the shoulders fall from your ears. Push into your feet. Maybe, maybe you're going to be interlacing your fingers, pushing your palms away from you in front of your chest, maybe trying to take the bend of the elbows just a little bit more. And then maybe your arms are going to start to float up. And maybe the palms are pushing up and away. Breathe. Lastly, Maybe gazing to where your hands are. Your hands are on your hips. Maybe gaze down a little. Awesome work, you guys. Let your arms start to fall back down to your sides, wherever they happen to be. Start to tip forwards too. Bringing your hands all the way down. Spin your back heel up so you're in a, some sort of lunge. And then inhale to look forwards. Exhale, bring your back foot up to the top of your mat. Inhale into a half lift. Exhale as you fold forwards. Inhale, Let's come all the way up to standing, reaching up. Exhale, let your arms fall to your sides. Take a shoulder roll if you want one and a big inhale as you reach up again. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, let's find another half lift. Exhale to fold, plant your hands, step all the way back into downward facing dog. Last chance to maybe take those weird walks with the hands. I mean, we're not moving, we're not walking, but steps maybe with the hands is a better, better way to say that. But push into the palms. Push into the bottoms of the fingers too. Now start to look to the feet. Find some nice length through the arms. If that means you need to bend your knees or lift your heels, do that. Take another inhale in your downward dog. And as you exhale, lower your knees slowly all the way down into tabletop. We're going to stay on our hands and knees. If you want to come off your hands for a second, you can. But we're going to start to turn the fingertips out to the edges of our mats. So maybe we can continue to spread our fingers out wide. Push our palms down slightly. You can stay still here or you could add a gentle sway of your shoulders. Maybe side to side, left to right. It can be a very small, small movement. So our hands might be under our shoulders right now. <clears throat> and they can stay there. Or you could bring them closer together, maybe a little. Maybe your forearms are touching. Continue to spread the fingers, connect the palms. This might feel different on your shoulders and your back and maybe all the way down to the fingertips. You can be still. You could try to add a gentle sway again, but notice if the palms want to lift. Notice if the fingers want to bend. And then if you brought your hands closer together, 
Start to bring them back out under the shoulders again. Maybe spread out the fingers, connect the palms, just notice the difference if there is one. And then we can start to come off of our hands. You might turn the fingers to point forwards first, and maybe you'll sit back, maybe you'll stand on your knees, but some wrist circles are probably going to feel good. Now, you can make your fists, you could keep your fingers out if you wanted, but just switch directions. And then letting that go with maybe a little shake of the hands. And then we're going to sit down again, but this time with our legs out in front. <clears throat> so let's keep our left leg out long. We can bend our right one. You can hold your knee, your foot can be to the inside of that left leg. Just take a second, maybe interlace your fingers over your shin, over your knee, lengthen through the spine, maybe start to point your left toes up. Nice and tall here through the spine though. Maybe even let your eyes close for a moment. Your shoulders fall from your ears. Just focusing on a nice strong spine. Holding onto your knee. And waking up that left leg, pointing the toes up. So we're just going to be letting our right knee fall out to the side. Maybe your foot ends up on your inner thigh or somewhere close by. Reset though, sit tall again. Keep pointing those left toes up. Now we don't have anything to hold on to. So our arms, our hands could stay down, maybe on your leg. Maybe you're gonna take your palms in front of your chest, push them forwards, resist rounding forward, stay tall. So let the palms go in front of you as far as they want to go. And maybe trying to take the bend out of the elbows just a, just a touch more. Touch more. Left toes pointing up nice and strong through the spine. If the arms want to float, they can. They don't have to. You might look where your hands are. Maybe that's down to the floor. Maybe that's up above you. Long and strong through the spine. Keep flexing that left foot. This is a lot of work. Take another inhale. And then as you exhale, let your arms fall down to your sides. You can relax your left foot. You could take a tip forwards if you wanted to. Give your back a little stretch. Maybe that means you need to bend your left knee. Maybe you're pointing your left toes back up. But just relax a second. Maybe a little shoulder. Roll. And if you are folding forwards, just use an inhale to lift. Again, we're just going to be sending our right leg out. Maybe a little shake of the legs first if you want. The left knee can start to bend. Put that foot somewhere where you are able to sit tall, you're not leaning back, you're not falling forwards. But if you can hold it, you can hold your knee somewhere, maybe it's the back of the leg, on top of the leg, long spine. Right leg, you can point those toes up, wake it up. Find that work where you're putting an effort to stay tall through the spine and keep the spine strong and long, but letting the shoulders fall from the ears. One of those things that doesn't look like much, but it can feel like a lot. You activate. So we're just gonna be letting our left knee tip out to the side. Maybe move the foot a little. Keep your right leg out long. You can recenter. You can scoot around. Sitting tall, though, with some effort. Point your right toes up. You can decide what your arms are going to do. Maybe your hands stay down, a little push into the ground. 
push into the hips, push into the fingertips maybe. Or if you did, want to interlace your fingers in front of the chest again, maybe. Pushing the palms away, how straight can you make your arms? With a little bit of effort. Stay here if you're feeling good, or maybe the arms will start to float, still long and strong through the spine, maybe looking in the direction where your hands are. Be pointing those right toes up. Stay for an inhale. As you exhale, let your arms relax down. You can start to tip forwards, bend the leg. Stay sitting tall, but a moment to relax if possible. Just finding your breath. Feel that nice stretch through your right leg. And we're going to lift back up. If you're folding forwards, let an inhale bring you back up. You can either send your left leg out next to the right. Shake it out a little. If you want to bend both of your knees, give them a little hug. You could do that as well. So we're going to just stay seated. And we're going to twist a little with the upper body. So if you want to be cross-legged, you can. You could even sit on your knees. Maybe butterfly, soles of the feet together, knees out wide, but just make that diamond big enough so that you feel like you can stay sitting tall. You're not falling back. You're not tipping forwards. You are centered. You could place your hands on your knees or maybe the floor around you. Take a moment though to lengthen through your spine. Decide how you want to be seated here for a few moments. And then we're just going to be adding in a twist. So we can start to turn our chest towards the right side first. Feel free to move your hands as well. Maybe to your legs, maybe to the floor around you. Long through the spine. And then just using an inhale to turn your chest back to face forwards. You can keep going to the other side, nice and long through the spine. Your hands are touching the ground. Push into them a little bit. Breathe here, feeling the love through the back. Some work to keep the spine long. All the while relaxing through your face. Breathing softly. And then just using an inhale to turn back so that you're facing forward. So we're going to stay here. If you would like to tip forwards to relax the back, stretch the back, you could add that in. Or you can stay sitting tall. Feel free to move your legs if you're not loving where they are in this moment. But if you are folding forwards, we're going to start to lift back up again. If your knees are out wide, you can bring them back together. Give them a little bit of a hug. Maybe a rock side to side. <clears throat> And then depending on what your surface underneath you is, we're going to kind of rock forwards and back on the spine a little bit. So this does feel good sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't, depending on a few things. But if you want to start to kind of roll down, lay down, and then kind of Lift back up. Now, the slower you go, the harder it is, but you can definitely go slow and work on that core. But if you can kind of bring some momentum into this and it does feel 
Good. You don't have to come all the way up to seated, maybe halfway, but this might be a nice little massage for the back, for the spine, and it can be some work too. <laughs> so if it feels good, let's do three more rocks, maybe up and down. If you're laying on your back, that's cool too. Just take a second there. We are going to meet laying down on our backs, however you would like to get there. Your feet can stay planted or you could hug your knees towards your chest, but now maybe a rock side to side with the legs, the knees feels good too on the low back. And then if you have your feet lifted, you can start to bring them back down. We're going to be taking our left foot and resting it on top of the right quad or figure four. You can stay with the right foot down. You could lift it into the air. Feeling that left leg glute. If you have your right foot lifted up right now, you can start to bring it back down. And then uncross the legs. Take a moment. Shake it out a little. Rocking the knee side to side if you'd like. Switching sides when you're ready. Left foot can stay down. Right foot can cross over top of that left quad. Maybe your foot stays down. Maybe you're lifting it up, hugging the legs towards the chest a little bit more. Feeling that nice stretch throughout that right leg. You have your left foot lifted and start to bring it down again. And uncrossing the legs, planting the feet, maybe a few sways of the legs side to side. And then an option here Stay laying on your back and maybe make a diamond shape with the legs, soles of the feet together, knees falling out wide. And then we can also turn this over onto our tummies. But we're still going to try to make the diamond shape with our legs. So if you want to join me, maybe bring your knees back together first. And if you can just roll over onto your tummy as gracefully as possible. <laughs> and then you might start to scooch the knees out wide. 
Maybe that means the feet go out wide too, just to scooch the knees out. And then you're just going to try to bring your feet together. Now the feet might want to float. That's okay to start. Well, it's okay to stay too. But if you can try to relax, maybe it's the big toes. Maybe the feet completely can touch down again. But we're going to stay for just a few moments. Relax through your upper body, especially if you're on your tummy. Give your legs and your hips a chance to get used to this position. Just breathing softly. Now, if you are on your tummy, we're going to push back into child's pose in a second. You're on your back. You can stay in the diamond shape or you could do child's pose on your back, but just lifting the feet up, knees out wide, maybe the big toes together. If you're on your belly and you're going to be joining me, we're going to see if we can keep our knees kind of as wide as they are. Maybe the feet stay together as we send our body back. And maybe things move along the way. Just something to think about as you bring your hands close to the shoulders. Push into those nice, strong wrists of yours. And then see how smooth the transition can be as you send the hips back towards the heels. Maybe the legs moved on you and you want to make some adjustments, but take a second to bring your forehead down, maybe onto your hands as a little pillow, maybe all the way to your mats. Maybe your knees are out a little wider and they usually are in your child's pose. Maybe, maybe it's, maybe it's not any different than your usual child. Just another breath or two here. And then if you did follow along with me, we are going to be coming all the way back over and onto our backs. So lucky you if you're already there, but you can start to move. If you're not, bring your knees in, maybe a little shake of the hips first, and then you can find your way that you're lying down again. And this time, maybe a hug of the knees towards the chest. Feels good. We're gonna be moving into a twist though. Their knees falling over towards the left side. Whenever you're ready for it, you can let your knees stack on top of one another. You could cross your legs. Find a twist that feels good on your back, on your hips. Adjust your shoulders if needed, maybe reaching your arms out wide, way down the shoulder.
Stay on this side, just a few more moments. Maybe breathing a little bit deeper through the belly. You can use an inhale when you're ready to help you lift your legs up out of your twist. Just come back to center. Maybe a gentle sway of the knees before you switch sides. Whenever you're ready to go there, though. Maybe stacking the knees on top of one another. Maybe you're crossing your legs the other way. Just adjusting your shoulders. Try to keep them down. Maybe reaching your arms out wide. Enjoying a few moments here. Maybe breathing just a little bit deeper. Trying to get some more movement through the belly. Letting an inhale help you lift your legs all the way back up. Out of your twist. Connect your low back to your mats if you do want to hug your knees towards your chest or keep your feet down. You rock side to side might feel good. And then maybe we'll find happy baby from here. You could hold your knees, just let them open up. Let the feet open up too. If you wanna reach for your feet, you can add that in, full happy baby. Trying to encourage your low back down though when it wants to lift. You have your feet out wide. You might let them start to fall back in together. Maybe the big toes can lightly touch your hands to your knees. Just recline child's pose for a moment.
And you might bring the knees back in together, maybe give them a little bit of squeeze. You might even lift your head, your shoulders up for a moment. Give your knees a nice big hug before you release everything down. Feet, legs, arms and shoulders. You can make your way into Shavasana, whatever that is gonna look like for you today. Just find a comfy place to spend these last few moments where you can relax your entire body. Slowly start to move. Maybe give your hips a little bit of a sway. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Maybe you'll start to interlace your fingers by your chest. Push your palms up. Maybe letting your arms fall above the head. Eventually bending your knees. Rolling all the way over to one side. You find your way up and into a comfy seat when you're ready. Closing your eyes one last time. Maybe bring your hands together in front of your heart. Awesome practice, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. <laughs> Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys very soon. Namaste.